Well, he's more of a, a point guard. He's not a scoring guard. He's not a guy like Kai Bowman that's going to go off for 40 points. I think they need him if you're Boston College to be solid. Being around, you know, new teammates and a, a new city. So it's going to be a big adjustment for anybody. Marcus, as you watch this college game, and before, remember the possession there is yours as well with the timeout. There you go. Four-point game. Underneath the basket, Brown gets two, and he's going to the line. This is a drive. Going to reach there, get another reach, and there's contact, and the strength of Sean D. Brown. Movement inside, outside, get people to get in the right spot. Find a gap. Make two defenders guard one person. Shoulders bounce go. inside, and one. Brown now Good in the ball movement the here. See, there's your little pick and roll action. You stop, but see, they stopped the basketball. He's not awarded one. Sean D. Brown, underneath, tough angle, and one for Sean D. Brown. You cannot get on the hip of Sean D. Brown because he'll take you for a ride and drop you off right at the rim. Beautiful play. Rebound. Dina Deacons quickly up the floor and a fantastic finish with the layup by Sharon White. Right. That's what Wake Forest wants to try and do. They need to be aggressive. And right here, getting out in transition is a good way to do that. They find Sharon Wright streaking in there for the alley-oop. Johnson almost another steal. Five on the shot clock. Top of the key. Three for Brown. White again looking to penetrate. Shawnee Brown goes baseline. Gets a little bit of room as the shot is blocked. Brown picks it up again, and he'll get the end one. It's a nice Euro step, but look at the defense. I mean, that's just. Deficit is eight. Brown. Get, oh, you got to be kidding me. New career high for Sean D. Brown. Brown trying to operate through a double team, and he's able to operate and has a chance for a three point play to their two point lead. Busey is from the corner. Brown to the basket. He has another three-point play chance. The Deacons has been the difference in this game. Shot goes up. Brown snatches it. Strong, powerful. Gets it up. A little flex at the end. Quick turnovers. Uh, and that was one of the things that stood out for me. But again, for a freshman on the road, you keep it simple. You see Shawnee Brown coming up with a nice little pull-up. The lid's still on the bucket on both sides, about nine minutes in. But look who's over there to help. Saar went from the corner to the help side, walled up Jemison, who missed the jump hook. Through the second foul, by the way, on Odie Oguama, who's been great in the first half and has to go to the bench. Shawnee Brown on the drive with a tough two. You're used to doing whatever you want in high school. If you get on the baseline with the ball, you beat somebody, and it just is. That's a great hang, and two and a foul. Sutton ends up with the whistle. See it right here. He's been hurt, a little banged up, but you're going to see he's strong, keeps his chin on the rim, plays through. Head or excite. They're getting the sat out. They might be getting the sat out. Brown driving kick to the corner, and White knocks it down. You need to pick up back-to-back -back wins like that, the rivalry win, and then against Florida State, as that'll be slapped out by Sean D. Brown, very active defensively. Whistle the possession before, and how about the recovery here? And the timing to get the block down low, helps out. Wake has hit their last seven shots. The step back for White, they finally miss one. And one! A determined effort by Sean D. Brown, and he'll be at the line. White, don't locate block out. Sean D. Brown gets it to go. Momentum on the Deacon side. That but a miss. He's had several tonight like that. He's gotten a layup, but he's missed it. And poked away in a good defense by Sean D. Brown. And Childress will not miss that one. Childress looking for Brown, deflected, but Sean D. comes up with it. 
Inside, Oguama finishes. Really nice pass over the top. And, uh, you, you know, you talk about Brown and the things that he can do and because of his size. In a Wake Forest uniform than any player ever. Now, for a big man, how rare is that to see a guy like that? You coach Ralph Sampson. He played 19 years in the NBA, and I would bet you that he would be as close to, for a big man, number of minutes, 19 years in the NBA, as well as he was here. Didn't even get iron on that shot. Underneath, and a fine drive for two by Shondi Brown. And Duke's transition defense, not great on this possession, but Shondi Brown, you see the strength for him to be able to get, as is Olivier Saar. Playing in foul trouble, checking back into the game. Brown flips that one up on a strong drive for two. Now Olivier Saar going to get his opportunities. Doesn't take advantage of that one against Hurt. Brown got it up. He's tough to stop, especially when he gets in that lane. He's pretty darn skilled on the offensive end. Garrison Brooks hedges out. Three from the wing, and Brown has the answer in Wake Forest. Two possession game.